The differences are very few, actually. They're both from the same technology of electrophotographic printing, which produces dots on a drum, which then transfers the print to the paper with the toner. The fundamental difference between LED and laser is that an LED light source is a digital solid-state light source, whereas a, a laser light source still has a lot of moving parts and scanning ability. Well, an, an Oki LED printer can produce much smaller dots and place them absolutely discreetly, so therefore the output looks a lot higher quality than you'd expect from a product with maybe a lower resolution or a higher resolution. And that's the key difference, is that we can produce a level of print that produces something that looks like a continuous tone output print on a digital solid state device. Uh, in the early days, then yes it probably was as we were doing most of the pioneering research, but now with engine costs coming down and the volumes that we're producing, then no, there's no difference really in terms of price between laser and LED. A laser printer still produces ozone, um, very little, limited quantities, but does nonetheless, and ozone at sea level is not exactly good for you. But the key issue that most people are looking at nowadays is the power consumption and an Oki LED printer consumes something like 2 watts when sitting idle, which is about one-tenth of the consumption that an equivalent laser printer would do. And when you scale that up over a year, that's a considerable saving in power. And if you were to take the amount of product that was sold last year in the UAE alone, and say 10% of that could have been converted, then the power saving is in the region of about 3.2 gigawatts of power, which is quite substantial. Um, sad to say I was, th I was there when we were doing this. Uh, 1979, uh, we introduced the OK OL400 and OL800 uh, LED printers. So we've been producing LED-based printers for 23 years now. Um, there is a natural assumption of what you would want to buy from a certain manufacturer. But if people were to take a step back and look at some of the technology that's there and the environmental impacts that can be can be made by buying an LED product rather than a laser-based product, then maybe the decision would be to buy an LED product. And as I say, everybody looks at televisions nowadays, looks at LED televisions and accepts the technology. For a long time now, we've been trying to pioneer LED printers into the, the uh, printing environment. And hopefully now people are a bit less shall we say, prejudiced about what they buy and understand the benefits of LED and therefore the next time people are looking at one, maybe it shouldn't just be a laser, it should be an LED printer.